You ever just want to quit your job, buy a boat, sail around the world? Well, what if we told you that was possible? I'm Rad. And I'm Sasha. With more willpower than money and a dream to become pirates, we bought a sinking sailboat and spent the next nine months transforming it into one of the sexiest boats on the seven seas. There is nothing that can get in the way of us sailing around the world. So grab your popcorn, hit subscribe, and be prepared for one hell of a story. The story of our lives. This is the journey of Spirit Animal. Sailing towards an ending, an ending to an introduction, an introduction to a long journey ahead of us. 365 days ago, you would have been yelling at us through your TV screen at the dumb decision we made to buy this sinking sailboat. Hell, we were yelling at ourselves, and to have to go back and re-watch and edit all those bad decisions was straight torture. We were blinded by the dream, but that same need for freedom that got us into this mess was the same fuel we used to get ourselves out. And against all odds, we turned this sinking boat into the vessel that's gonna take us around the world. And we got a sense of that freedom over the last three months when we sailed it nearly a thousand miles through the Bahamas. We explored many islands and caves, shot tons of fish, weathered some storms, found treasure, almost, got ate by a tiger shark, almost, saw some amazing sunsets and had some incredible encounters with nature and made memories that'll last a lifetime. But the most important thing we learned in the last three months is everything about the boat. There's things we need to fix and upgrade to make sure she's truly ready to circumnavigate. So with limited parts in the Bahamas, fate has brought us back to the place that holds our toughest, most painful memories. The concrete jungles of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. As it stood, as the world moves on, time sings a song. Don't cry, don't cry. It was time to get back to work. Make your mascara run. Yeah. <laughs> Do I look like I'm crying? Well, let's get to it. Where should we start? Well, we should have probably sailed the boat once or twice before completely tearing it apart and customizing it to our liking. We literally did one downwind sail from St. Augustine to Fort Lauderdale and the boat didn't heal over at all. So if I would have known what living life on an angle was like, there would be some things that I would have done differently. She used to live on a mono hall. I got a little carried away. But this is why we're sharing our experiences with you guys so you don't make the same mistakes. Let's go back to our original layout. You can see we used to have three wet head bathrooms. And we took the left one and turned it into a walk-in shower, which means our two bathrooms are on the starboard side of the boat. But now when we try to drop a deuce on a port side heel, the toilet won't suck up any salt water to flush down our trophies. Now we could take the shower and switch it with the bathroom, but that's a three day project. So a workaround we found is to take the freshwater sink and put it in the toilet on the rare occasions that happens, or hit a quick tack and lean the boat to starboard. But when the boat leans to right, Get a side loader, we can stay super organized. There's a reason for the top loaders. Yes, they may be a little more difficult to organize, and you have to keep the countertops clean, which is why we chopped ours into little tiny pieces with the saws off. But if we had to do it over again, we would have kept them. Cold air sinks, and when you open the side loading fridge, you can feel all that cold air whoosh out. With a top loading fridge, you don't have that issue. Other than that, we got a few creaks while we're under sail, which I hear is totally normal, but we're still gonna try to address a few of those and we did a great job on the rest of the upgrades. 
The hard top doesn't affect the way the boat sails and it provides a lot of shade. The gimbling stove is undefeated. Our new master bedroom has been incredible. The water maker and battery bank have been absolute lifesavers. And the editing desk has been our permanent residence. Besides last month. But without further ado, it is time to get back to work. Our plan is to get out of here in three weeks and set sail on our circumnavigation for good. All right, Sasha, what are we doing today? So part of the reason we had to come back to Fort Lauderdale is because the upholstery guy didn't finish our cushions before we left. So we have them on the boat now and we just screwed down the tracks and it's time to put them in. Yeehaw, <laughs> get comfy. So we've got the upholstery done, almost. Starting to look good. We got the seat done and some icing glass up. And now I'm working on the back seat. So on long crossings, you got some back support and you can sit there comfortably. It's gonna sit like this. And what I've decided to do is I had some scrap metal lying around, some stainless. I'm trying to bend it right now to get the right angle for the seat. And this is how I'm doing it. I'm setting it inside of this pipe. Now I got a ratchet strap inside of there, hooked on down there. And that's how we're acquiring that bend. This is definitely not the correct way to bend a bar, but our bend is very mild, so we can get away with it. Pretty close. Once all four angles matched, we pre-drilled the holes for the mounting brackets and screwed them down with 3 16 stainless screws. Then we drilled the holes so we could bolt the backs on, capped off the pipe to give it a finished look, and screwed it all together. Not only do these cushions transform the cockpit, but they're going to add a new level of comfort to the long crossings to come. Now this next project is for all of you who love to go to sleep at a reasonable hour and get your full eight hours of sleep in. What is the point of having a badass boat if you don't have a badass stereo system to match it? We have the Kicker Marine Series speakers and I don't think any of you have seen tower speakers on a monohull sailboat. So, leave it to us to be those douchebags. It is now time for the unboxing. Oh, dang. That was That's a purdy. One. That's some purdy, purdy Ready? speaker. Ready to sit and watch me try this? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. What you think that weighs? Oh yeah, like 30 pounds. Our boat's gonna be squatting with them <laughs> things on the back, huh? A lot more than it already is. <laughs> Kicker, really stepping it up in the marine game. Okay, first glance, these speakers are very heavy and the quality seems top notch. Secondly, excellent looking hardware. Oh my god, <laughs> it's so heavy. <laughs> You guys are gonna be taking on water. <laughs> okay, so right now what we're doing is putting this anti-seize on there. Just in case we ever have to take them off, it won't be too difficult. We're putting them on every single one of the bolts while Roth is getting the back ready where we're gonna mount the speakers. Right here, on this bar. And honestly, I, I'm wondering if it's gonna make everything shake. But bam, covered. Are you ready? Yeah. Woohoo! Right, Chip? Oh, yeah. That's bitching, dude. That is so sick on a sailboat. Ayana, have you ever seen anything like this? Never. <laughs> now, look at this. Just click these. Party in the back, baby. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that sick? If you want to sit in the hammock. Have your eardrums blast We can it point out, it no in problem. any direction we want. That is so nice. We can even tilt this sucker down. If you want to stand right under it and have a party. That one is mounted. They're either going to love us or hate us. 
We're gonna slap these stickers on the side because I'm super happy with how these things are and I haven't even turned them on yet. <laughs> the excitement I already is know they're real. gonna be badass, like super badass. Okay. Raph only does badass. Hey. Hit me with some alcohol. Is it a little early for that? Never. Booyah! What? It's just funny because I've never heard you say that until. Really? I've said booyah before. <laughs> until the camera's little, running. It sounded a little forced. I've definitely <laughs> said booyah before. Okay, I'll give you a minute. Cool, dude. Is that better? That's good. Okay. Ooh, that what? sticker looks good. Yeah. Looks good. So pretty. So good. So pretty. You're so like pretty. It. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. Beautiful. So clean. Let them know. Gotta let them know. Okay, so we have those two tower speakers on the back, which look beautiful. And now we are gonna install a subwoofer and that thing is gonna go right here. Time to cut some holes. I know what you're thinking. A radio? Wow. You guys must be thriving. Yeah, we're thriving. On life, that is. Still struggling to make ends meet, but we'd like to think our slope is on a jagged but uphill curve. Of course, we'll never forget where we came from, but the whole point of sailing around the world is to have a good time. So while you're sitting there rolling your eyes and telling us you need to focus on the necessities in life, well, Karen, in three weeks time, we're hosting a flotilla in the Bahamas, and this sound system is a necessity. Now before we hear what these speakers can do, we still have to mount the speakers on the inside of the boat and wire it up. But first... Next project! Woo! So, this is the nav station that we barely ever use because we have our beautiful editing desk. And we have one issue on this boat and it's refrigeration. So we have one big refrigerator. There's a lot of room for us and one small freezer. It's great because we can freeze stuff for crossings, but it's not that big. One thing we don't have room for is beer and extra frozen fish. So, we've come up with a solution. We have the Iceco VL60 here. It is a portable freezer fridge, very efficient, and it is perfect size to put in place of our bench. So we're gonna swap this bench out for that freezer, and we're gonna see how it looks. This Iceco unit is impressive. This model holds 85 cans, can be adjusted between 0 and 50 degrees Fahrenheit, can run directly off 12 or 24 volts DC, has an internal battery in case you want to take it to the beach, has a 5 year warranty on the compressor, and has an economy mode which averages only 23 watts per hour throughout the day. Dun da da da! Look at that! And it's done! Love it. Still gotta finish the floor, put some trim on it and put like a little lip there so it's that this sliding. cooler doesn't slide. But now we got a multi-purpose work area. Love it. Next! Next! So these are our new beautiful transom doors. We just installed one of them. The other ones were super old and ratty and didn't hold back any water. We tried to get our hands on some original hatches but didn't have any luck. We contacted Beneteau, looked all over the web, until eventually we came across Boat Outfitters. These guys specialize in making custom items out of King Starboard, such as fillet tables, tackle boxes, and hatches. The quality of these hatches is top notch. We added double stainless steel latches to compensate for the curve of the transom, and they're absolutely fantastic. In our case, we measured them to be slightly larger than the old hatches, that way we could cut out all the nasty old screw holes and have larger access. We popped some measurements, drew a few lines, and started making our cuts. Perfect. 
Okay, so anytime you're doing these doors, it's just like a house door where you kind of got to check the reveal. So if I set this in there just like that, you'll notice how this kind of slumps down and you can see the reveal here is about a quarter inch. It goes down to about a sixteenth or an eighth down here. So what you have to do is lift up on this door until that reveals even. See how it's shifting the whole frame? Basically, you're going to hold that even and then pre-drill all your holes. This stuff is elastomeric and basically this is one of the few things I found that sticks to starboard. 5200 silicone, that stuff I've never had any luck getting it to stick to starboard. I want these hatches to stay waterproof since it's on the transom and uh, it's a good product to have on the boat because we work with starboard a lot. Huge difference. These were the old raggedy ones that were not waterproof or nothing. And voila, it turned the back of our boat into a sexy beast. Super happy to have these. Now that the transom doors are in, it's finally time to hook up the rest of the sound system. Okay, we have our tower speakers mounted up here and there's no wires running through these tubes yet. We had to drill a couple holes here because these poles don't connect. So what we're gonna do is run the wires. They're both gonna run down this pipe. These are gonna go to a switch. These are gonna go to our amp. Sometimes something as simple as running wires on a boat can take up an entire day. Lucky for us, it went pretty smooth. All these wires ran through the tubes, down the side of our boat, and to the nav station, where we had to mount our head unit and our amplifier nearby. Of course, we had to run the proper size fuse and cable to our five channel amplifier, which will power the inside speakers, outside speakers, and the sub. After that, we cut out the holes for the inside speakers, screwed them into place, then wired in all the speakers in the neatest way possible using heat shrink connectors. After that, I went on Kicker's website, which had a ton of information that taught me how to tune the amp. And finally, the moment had come to test these bad boys out. They're about to hear this shit in Africa. Thanks everyone for bearing with us through the holidays. We had a crazy December, had tons of friends and family to attend to, a wedding to go to, congratulations Kendra and Carson. And I know a lot of you don't wanna see us doing boat projects because it seems like we just started our adventure, but there's a few things we gotta address and we'll be back out there in a couple weeks, so bear with us on that as well. And as always, we wanna give a huge thank you to all of our patrons, all of our new patrons that have recently joined us in the last few weeks, as well as our upper tier patrons who get a plaque on the spirit animal. You guys are the main reason we're able to continue this journey and it really means a lot to us to have your guys' support. Thank you so much to everyone who likes, shares, and comments on our videos and we appreciate you spreading the word. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you guys here again next week on Spirit Animal.